The year is 1936, and you're in the arid landscapes of Iraq, unearthing a set of peculiar artifacts. As the dust settles, you find a collection of three items known today as the Baghdad Battery. This trio consists of a ceramic pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod, all showing signs of corrosion. The artifacts discovered in proximity to what are believed to be storage vessels for sacred scrolls are shrouded in mystery. Their purpose unclear. Their original excavation context poorly recorded. This lack of information adds an intriguing layer of enigma to our tale. Fast forward to the year 2003, amidst the chaos of the US-led invasion of Iraq, the Baghdad battery vanishes. A historical artifact, once tangible and within our grasp, is lost to the shadows. This disappearance deepens the intrigue, leaving us with more questions than answers. So, we've got this set of artifacts, but what's so special about them? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery of the Baghdad battery. These artifacts, believe it or not, have been suggested to function as a battery. Now you might be scratching your heads, a battery from ancient times, yes, the hypothesis suggests that these objects might have served as a primitive form of a galvanic cell. This means they could generate electricity through a chemical reaction. Some proponents of this theory believe that these so-called Baghdad batteries were used for electroplating, a process where a thin layer of metal is applied onto a surface. This could potentially explain the presence of gold plating on some artifacts from the same period. Others propose that these batteries were used for electrotherapy, a method of treating pain by passing mild electrical currents through the body. This could have been seen as a form of magic or divine intervention by the ancient peoples. Over the years, various experiments have been conducted to test this battery theory. Some have been successful showing that it's possible for these artifacts to produce a small amount of electricity. However, many attempts have failed, leading to a fair amount of controversy and skepticism. The archaeological community is divided. Many argue that there's no conclusive evidence to support the battery theory. They point out that the original context of the artifacts is unclear, and the lack of well-recorded excavation data makes it hard to determine their exact use. But if it wasn't a battery, then what could it have been? Archaeologists and historians have been scratching their heads, and some alternative theories have emerged. Among these, one suggests that these artifacts may have been nothing more than simple storage vessels. This theory proposes that the iron rod and copper tube were used to secure sacred scrolls inside the ceramic pots, keeping them safe and preserved. Another theory makes a foray into the realm of early medicine. Some experts have speculated that these objects might have been used for mild electrotherapy or pain relief. The idea is not as far-fetched as it sounds. Ancient Egyptians were known to use electric fish to numb pain, a primitive form of electrotherapy, if you will. Could the Baghdad battery have been a similar, albeit more sophisticated, tool? However, despite the various theories and speculations, no conclusive evidence has been found to support any of these claims. The original excavation records of these artifacts were poorly maintained, making it difficult to determine their exact age or use. In addition, the artifacts were exposed to the weather and show signs of corrosion, further complicating the matter. The fact remains that the true purpose of the Baghdad battery is still shrouded in mystery. It's a fascinating puzzle that continues to captivate the minds of researchers and history enthusiasts alike. The enigma of the Baghdad battery remains, but it's not just a historical riddle, it's a challenge to our understanding of technological progression. If the Baghdad battery was indeed a battery, it throws a wrench into the conventional timeline of the discovery of electricity. This ancient artifact, if its purpose is accurately speculated, would suggest that the knowledge of electricity predates Benjamin Franklin's famous kite experiment by centuries, if not millennia. Consider the implications. We're talking about a civilization in what we now call Iraq, who had a working understanding of electrochemical reactions. The Sassanid period, the Persian Empire, when the Baghdad battery is believed to have been created, was a time when the majority of the world was still using fire for light and heat. Yet here, nestled near the cradle of civilization, we might find evidence of a technology that wouldn't be rediscovered until the 18th century. This could mean that our ancestors were far more sophisticated than we give them credit for. The Baghdad battery might be a testament to lost knowledge, a symbol of an advanced civilization whose secrets were forgotten over time. And it reminds us of the power of human ingenuity which has been sparking innovation since time immemorial. Yet the question remains, 
Did our ancestors stumble upon electricity long before Benjamin Franklin flew his kite? We may never know for sure, but the Baghdad battery shrouded in mystery continues to challenge our understanding of history.